Hello everyone, Ian here, and welcome to the Fun Guy channel. And in today's video, we're playing some Biomutant. Plus, I was in the process of moving while the game came out, so I thought I'd just wait for all the reviews to come in, so I can get a better sense of how this game was gonna be. And then the reviews started rolling out, and I gotta say, they were pretty bad. <laughs> but I finally got settled into my place, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna give this game a try. And I gotta say, I'm glad I did, because Biomutant is actually really fun. And yeah, sure, the game is definitely not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Even with me, like, my little complaint about the game would be the audio. Like, when I'm smacking an enemy with my melee weapon, the audio cues is kinda weak. And the dialogue and story is pretty basic and boring at times. But other than that, I think Biomutant is definitely worth checking out. And hey, look. If I was able to put up with Cyberpunk 2077 and their issues, I'm able to put up with anything just about. <laughs> However, let's get into this video and let me show you guys how to get all the 100% resistant ultimate hazard suits. Since it's pretty important when you're exploring the world of Biomutant. There are 5 hazard suits that we can pick up in this game and that's going to be the Bio Suit, the Oxygen Suit, the Heat Suit, the Cold Suit, and last, the Radioactive Suit. But before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all the amazing people out there that subscribe to my channel. We have reached 1,000 subscribers, actually past 1,000 subscribers this past weekend, specifically while I was still moving, but my heart dropped when I saw that. So I thank you guys so much for this. I truly appreciate it. It's definitely a dream come true. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of the Fun Guy Club. And with that being said, let's get out there and get these hazard suits. An important key to remember that in order to get these suits, we are going to need to go to each specific hazard zones. Like for an example, on your map, if you pull up your map, the radioactive areas will appear in a pinkish color. So when you enter that area or that location, an animation will show your character react to the area, and then a side quest will pop up, and then you can go ahead and activate it so you can get started on that quest. And this is going to be the same pattern for every hazard suit in the game. So we're going to have to go to each hazard location to spark up those side quests. And the first hazard suit we're going to get is the biohazard suit. And since I think it's actually the easiest one to get in the game, I'm not too sure. But I always stumble upon the little green areas. So we'll just go get this one first. So go ahead and locate an area on your map where it's highlighted in that greenish color. And that's where we're going to need to go to spark up the side quest. Once you've activated the bio quest, go ahead and open up your map and track the area where we need to go. And you can also set down a waypoint if it helps out. Now you'll know you're in the right spot if you find a building with a ping dish in it. And that ping dish is going to lead you to the next location of the bio suit. Just go ahead and take out all the enemies, clear the area, get the loot and the materials as well. And when all the enemies are defeated, go into that ping dish building and complete the little mini puzzle to take control of the ping dish to find the next location. Once you ping in the right spot, go ahead and open up your maps once again and set a waypoint onto the next area. Now that you reach Bang Shelter 6D, there will be a mini boss. Go ahead and defeat him and enter the Bang Shelter. Loot everything in the building for gear and material and once you get to this room, you will see the biohazard suit in the glass case. Open it up and you're going to receive the biohazard pants which gives you 50% resistance. The anti-biohazard hood which is going to give you 20% resistance. And the anti-biohazard jacket which is going to give you 75% resistance. Be sure to grab all the items and then leave the area so we can go ahead and get the next suit. Now for the second suit, I tried going for the oxygen suit since I kind of activated that side quest when I was doing a main mission with I think the character Gizmo, where you have to go down, you have to ride that robot thing in the oxygen hazard zone, so naturally I activated the quest line without even noticing. So then I started heading out to the oxygen suit area and the path I was on required me to have a heat suit. So I dropped that quest line and then ventured off to go get the heat suit. And we can start this quest by walking into a heat zone. Once the animation is done and the side quest pops up, go ahead and track it on your map and set a waypoint.
Once you get to the ping dish area, it's going to be the same routine. Take down all the enemies, enter the ping dish building, solve the little puzzle, and take control of the ping dish to look for the next location, which is going to be Bang Shelter 6L. Now that you reach the location, fight the mini boss, loot the area, crack open that case, and pick up the heat resistant suit. And actually, each piece of the hazard suits will have the same resistant numbers, and that's a nice thing to know if you want to mix and match your suits with other pieces of gear. Now clear the area and let's ride out to finally get that oxygen suit. Now at this point you should have the side quest already, so go ahead and activate that quest and head over to the ping dish location. And if you don't have this quest yet, go ahead and open your map and try to look around for the areas with the bluish gray tint to it. And that will be the hazard location where you can activate the quest. And again, same routine as before, like with all of them pretty much. Just go ahead, find the location, beat up all the enemies, enter the building, solve the puzzle, and then find the next location. And I'm glad that the enemies in each locations are different as well as the mini bosses because it could be a little repetitive, I can tell you that right now. Line up that ping dish, get to Bang Shelter 11i to fight the next mini boss with the oxygen suit. Run inside, grab the suit, and let's take a trip down to a snowy area so we can get the cold suit. Now there's a few snowy places around the world but I would recommend going to this location just because I found it a little bit more convenient to get to. Just stroll through the cold spots, freeze your little tail off to start the side quest. And I haven't had a chance to use all the hazard suits yet, but I can't wait because I really do enjoy playing this game. Activate that ping dish, ping the right location, and let's go! Take down that mini boss and enter Bang Shelter 10E. Smash that case and snatch up the cold hazard suit. Now, on to the next one, which is going to be the radioactive suits. And remember, it'll be in the area wherever there is a pink tint to it. Once you find that area, you can go ahead and activate that side quest and then look for the next location. Now that we're at the last ping dish building, take down the enemies, activate the ping dish, and like always, look for that location. Now that you're in the area, take down that last mini boss, walk inside the bunker to acquire the radioactive suits. And I gotta say, these hazard suits are really cool, man. They don't pack the highest armor stats, but they do serve a purpose when you're entering those specific zones. And like I said before, I can't wait to go in every hazard zone to explore and discover more awesome loot. And when I find that loot, best believe I'll make a video on it. Ladies and gents, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope you all have a great day and stay positive out there. And until next time, peace out!